Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to uh, plot graph in Python code and we use matplotlib uh, library. Uh, I have five topics to talk about today. First is the line plot and second is bar chart and then we will show you how to plot uh, multiple uh, graph in uh, the same figure and next is pie chart and the last one is 3d plot okay so uh, let's go to line plot I have the data for uh, plotting here just to save time now all we need to do is uh, import the matplotlib library okay so let's say here is the x axis and China and uh, India is the uh, y axis. This number here is, is the total population from uh, 1990 to 2015 and uh, there is 6 steps uh, in this uh, range. So let's plot the data. You just need uh, the command plot. Let's say year and China. And one more is year and India. Okay. Uh, now all we need to do is type the command show. You want to uh, show the plot window. Okay, so we have the data here. Now, uh, I want to uh, adjust something. Okay, let's let's say um, uh, the color of the line for the, uh, this data is red, and I want the line style to be um, dash dash. So I, I type here, and you can check the line style in matplotlib official website there's many style here and uh, this is the color so i want red i just type all so this will be uh, red and the line style is dash dash uh, let's say line width is equal to and i call it this one uh, called China now uh, for India say green and lines I dash dot and line with two and uh, level India okay so we have the star here I want to add legend so you just type command legend and it will take the label here to show uh, the legend sorry now uh, let's uh, put the title say uh, total population of China and India okay, uh, from T2 2015. Now let's uh, define uh, the x axis label. Okay, you just type x label and type the, uh, the label that you want. Let's say year. And for Y label, let's uh, define it as billion. Okay, now let's run the code. So we have our uh, X label, Y label, and title, and this is the legend. So we have the data here for India and China.
Okay, so uh, let's make it more uh, clean. So I'm going to uh, only show the range of the data from let's say uh, 1985 to to uh, 2000. Uh, I mean 2020, and for the number of uh, population let's uh, define it from 0 0.08 to 1.4 okay so let's uh, call the comment uh, it's slim it's, it's uh, stand for its limits to so let's say okay nine Eighty-five to 2020 for y axis let's see okay and now I, I want to uh, change the style of the plot a little bit let's show a uh, grid okay Okay, so we have the data here, and this one, this is a grid. Okay, so that's it for line uh, line plot. I have a little bit more for this one. Let uh, let change the plot style a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to show you uh, the the style of the plot. So we have the style sheet here. There's many uh, style that you can choose. Now uh, let's say I want to. Okay, I, I want this one. Solar light light two. So what we need to do is uh, let's just type plg um, star use say so rise light to this one. So it's supposed to uh, use this star. Now let's uh, run this code again. Okay, so we have our star here. Now let's try uh, something else. Uh, let's say I want grayscale. Just type create uh, scale. Okay, this one. Okay, we have uh, our star here. Okay, so uh, that's all for lens plot and uh, for this uh, data. Now uh, I want to show you a little bit more about line plot. Let's say I have uh, uh, the function y equal to x sin x. So I want to plot the uh, data from 0 to 10 and uh, there is 100 step so all we need to do is uh, we just type the uh, the same command as, as I show you say plot x and y uh, let's say uh, red and 
line width two and okay let's just show so we have uh, the the function as a graph here uh, so you can adjust the uh, x-axis limits and y-axis limit as you want you can show the lecture uh, as I show you here okay so now let's uh, move to the next topic this uh, bar chart okay now I have the same data what uh, I need to do is I uh, use the command for bar chart okay let call it the command is bar and for x axis is year and y axis is the data from above and um, in the year and show Okay, let's run it. Okay, we have the bar chart here, but it's not look. Uh, um, I mean, it's not easy to look. Uh, it's supposed to be side by side, so I need to adjust something here. Now let's uh, adjust the edge limb and y limb and add the legend and we need to add the title and okay let's adjust the star first uh, let's say face color okay let's say purple now label China China and this one is color um, let's use orange sorry okay label India Now I want to show the legend. And let me find the X level. Let's call it G and Y level. Say B then. Just the uh, eight sling, let's say uh, 1985 to 2020, and Y-Lim, so Okay, so we have the star here. Um, let's just uh, plot it. Okay, so we have the star we want here. Now all we need to do is uh, we change the the bar width. Let's uh, define bar width. Let's call it bar width and let's say uh, zero point five. And okay I add the title here let's say comparison of uh, China and India from two Okay, let's run. I 
thing uh, okay let's adjust the bar with a little bit curve the same one oh sorry I haven't uh, input the bar with here uh, okay with let's see uh, with okay I just copy uh, for the next uh, data okay let's run it okay the, the size seem bigger let's say two okay we have the bigger bar here okay this one looks not good so we add the uh, uh, the line here to uh, to the next line okay let's uh, put uh, slash n here so we are back, uh, back uh, slash and if you want to uh, plot the bar chart to be side by side you need to adjust the x-axis here let's say you want to show the uh, China first so you need to uh, um, change the width side of the x here uh, I will show you first then you will get the idea for the next uh, bar, you need to uh, the plus the width side. Okay, now I show you first. So it will stay side by side. This meaning here, it means that uh, it will show you uh, before the x-axis here and for India data here we will uh, show you after the x-axis and our title uh, looks better you put the back uh, slash hand here so it will enter this line to the next line okay so that's it for uh, the um, bar chart and you can uh, use the um, the star here as a for a uh, line plot also but uh, yeah, yeah. okay so let's move to the next topic I will show you how to uh, plot multiple graph now let's use the same data all we need to do is the, we need to define uh, how many graphs that uh, you want to show so uh, the command is subplot and you need to input the number of um, row and column and uh, the index uh, number of the graph let's say uh, I want to plot um, 2 by 1 okay let's say 2 1 and in the index of the first plot just call it 1 now uh, I want to plot this so uh, I will just copy this well, we will use the same block now let's define the next uh, graph 2 1 and the index is number 2 and uh, I will use this one Okay, so now all I need to do is add command show.
Okay, so let's remove this title here. I will use the same title here. And this one at the... Oh, I need to uh, just remove it. Okay, let's try uh, run it. Okay, so we have the data here. This one is the bar chart and the line chart, uh, graph. Good. Uh, okay, set. So that's how you um, plot multiple uh, graph. So now let's move to the next part, pie chart. Okay, so I have the data here for the um the percentage of population in uh, the world in 2015 okay so uh, we will use uh, the command for pile chart now uh, the command is pi we need to uh, define the data here so I put amount and label sorry label uh, I put region here this one and uh, let's uh, put the number as uh, percentage so I put the command here okay now uh, I put the title let's say a uh, percentage Percentage of population. Okay, now let's uh, add legend. Um, let's put the title to the legend. Call it, sorry, call it title. And let's say legend, uh, region. Okay, now command show. Okay, let's run it. So we have the data here, but uh, it's not looks good here. So I need to adjust the location of the uh, legion. Okay, let's call the command box to anchor. anchor. Say one zero. It means that uh, we show you at the top corner uh, left at, of the, uh, the graph. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, it's look better. Now let's do something more. Let's say I want to uh, uh, show the shadow. And Let's explode the data uh, here. Okay, let's define uh, the explode here. Let's say I want to explode Europe. The Europe part is uh, at the third 
are a third index of the array so let's say row 0 let's say 1 0 0 0 um, okay 0 mean that uh, it will stay the same and one it will show you uh, the the size of the explode okay this one is uh, shadow sorry I need to uh, call the command explode here and we use the the explode data here okay let's run it okay here so one is uh, too much so I need let's say 0 0.1 okay it's look better so that's how you um, plot the power chart okay now let's uh, move to the last part of this tutorial the 3d plot for this 3d plot I will only show you the surface plot now um, this one is a little bit tricky we need to uh, import more library we need to use this toolkit import three axes um, sorry axis 3d and uh, okay I think that's all so this function here uh, is for square so uh, okay let's plot it first we need to um, call the uh, figure as uh, I mean define the figure as 3d uh, projection so I will call the command figure here in let's say ax is uh, free and subplot uh, let's call the command projection and 3d so we need this and let's call p1 um, axis and plot surface uh, let's plot so the data is x y and z and the function here is will uh, use the uh, the data from u and y so u and v okay so put x red and z here and okay so now we need the command show let's run it so we have our square here You can rotate it by just uh, click and hold. Okay, so let's um, adjust something. Let's say uh, I want the the uh, color to be more uh, dramatic. Uh, uh, let's say okay. Uh, let's say rainbow. So this one is command to call for a, a color map and there's many color map here you can use you can check it in the matplotlib uh, official website 
so in this case I use rainbow now let's um, let's say I want to show the color bar let's call the command color bar and for this graph so I define P1 let's um, set the limit for X Y and Z axis so the command here is different from from 2d plot so we need to uh, define it here let's say minus 15 15 Okay, we use the same for y and z axis now let's uh, run it okay so we have our graph here so this is the command the uh, result from command uh, uh, color bar Okay, so that's all. Uh, that are how you uh, use uh, the plot uh, in Python. So that's all for uh, today tutorial. Thank you.